लास्ट ट्राई Hi, I'm Pratibha Pikhin and welcome to my YouTube video. This video is going to be about oil cleansing, double cleansing and I'm going to tell you the right way to do it. I have been doing it since 8 years now and I'll tell you how it has benefited my skin, how I do it, what all oils I use. So, we will be talking less, working more. Probably for a few minutes I'm going to sit here tell you the oils that you can use, the benefits of it and then we'll go straight to the washroom and start working on our faces. oil cleansing technique for removing my makeup i don't remember the last time i used a makeup remover so no i remember i remember all i do is apply oils massage it in and wipe it out and then wash my face so this has helped my skin a lot uh, help my acne scars a lot and i'm going to be telling you how you can do it too types of oil cleansing techniques one is with natural oils and the second one is using products so there are oil cleansers and um, face washes that are specifically for removing your makeup and contains oils in it so uh, the point of that is you first apply it it is oil it removes all your makeup you can massage it in and then when you apply water to it it turns into foam the oil dissolves and you know it becomes a foamy face wash and removes all the all those excess oil so that is the product if you have oily skin and you think applying oils to your face will make your skin more oily uh, well that's not the case so when you apply oil it dissolves other oils and you know you could remove those excess oils on your skin faster uh, so if you think you know, should not do it or if it will increase your acne that is absolutely not the case so let's start with dry skin so uh, people with dry skin should definitely apply oil as a pre cleansing technique uh, this will help to moisturize your face and uh, nourish your face from within and then you can apply your cleanser so it will dry out your face less so the oils you can use is sunflower oil olive oil avocado oil and sweet almond oil these are easily available in indian market you can go to amazon or you could go to nika and search for these oil and you really do not need much just a little bit of oil would work amazing for oily skin type uh, you could use tea tree oil tea tree oil uh, please do not apply it directly to your skin please mix it so take a little bit of olive oil or coconut oil and just a couple of drops not more because it can dry out your skin and um, it can lead to a lot of sensitivity on your skin you know have you get redness and all those things so a little bit of tea tree oil and uh, grape seed oil is amazing for oily skin people for sensitive acne prone skin you could use uh, again tea tree oil mix it with another oil like coconut or olive oil few drops of tea tree oil and then you could apply it to your face and cleanse it with that or you could use coconut oil so coconut oil has been used in indian society since years now so uh, take cold pressed coconut oil and massage your face with it it's going to help you get nourished and make your skin um, if you have redness that is going to lighten the redness on your skin so try that out so these are some of your skin types and then uh, some of the oils that you can use if you have any question please you know comment down below i will answer all your queries and uh, i think now i'm going to take you to the washroom and let's get started so we are here in my washroom and as you can see i have some makeup on so i am going to be removing this makeup and show you how i cleanse my face with makeup and uh, in case if i do not have makeup and i just want to normally do my skin care routine how i do that as well so 
So I have tied my hair back and uh, the oil I used is olive oil and uh, this is Figaro olive oil. Uh, I have been using this since forever now and the reason why I started using this is because um, here as you all know in India to newborn babies they apply this oil on their body to massage it in to make them stronger so what actually clicked my mind is you know if baby skin is so soft and we apply this oil everywhere on the body including their face so that means this oil is really gentle on your skin so I have been using this oil since forever since the time I have been doing oil cleansing although these days I also use uh, rosehip oil in case I do not have makeup on so I even massage my face with rosehip oil take a little bit of oil Rub your hands with it. Apply it on your makeup. So applying these oils even helps to nourish your uh, eyelashes and eyebrows as well because we usually forget we apply oil to our hairs but we usually do not apply oils to our eyebrows and stuff so this is one extra step that i do every time i have makeup on i usually use uh, wet wipes even that is like baby wet wipes so um, i take that but right now i am over with wet wipes so i am going to be taking some cotton pads Wet wipes are a little wet, so it helps to, you know, get off all these makeup on the wipe easier. So for the cotton pads, I am going to wet that as well. Actually, oil cleansing technique is what I'm going to show you now. As you can see, all my makeup is off, and uh, this is my uh, face without makeup. So, if I'm just doing my skincare routine and I have no makeup on, now is how the oil cleansing or double cleansing actually begins. The oil I took last time to remove my makeup, I probably take half of that and rub it in as well. massage my skin with it so uh, if you are on my Instagram you've seen how I massage my face so uh, if I have no makeup on I massage my face and um, that will give me double benefits of cleansing my skin as well as getting rid of all those toxins in my skin and I probably massage that face for about uh, four to five minutes back I suddenly had a lot of breakout probably I think that was because of me moving to a new city and I could not adjust with the pollution there and the water there so I got a lot of breakouts and um, acne scar is one thing which is very tough to get rid of and me massaging my face every day every morning and every night probably at night I don't do so much but uh, in the morning I massage my face every day properly so that helped me get rid of all those scars or at least reduce it. So the next step I do is to just use a normal face wash after cleansing with an oil. I really do not like face washes that has a lot of foam in it. I apply it gently for about 45 to uh, 60 seconds 
so uh, it's not like i just apply it somehow and just splash it off no so i gently massage it So we are back to where we started. We have cleansed our face. Now I will just apply a toner to my skin. <laughs> 